Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem, widest vertical area between two points containing no points. And if you ever needed a reminder that the difficulties on leak code problems can be really random, this is a perfect example of that. Probably the hardest thing about this problem is just making sure you understand exactly what they are asking for. Because once you know that, the solution is not so difficult. I think it's really more of an easy problem but let me know what you think. So we're given n points on a 2D plane. So that means each point such as this one is gonna have an x coordinate and a y coordinate. So we have a bunch of these points on this coordinate. What we want to know is among any like vertical rectangle that we can create between two points, and what we want to know is what is the greatest distance between two points, but not just like the entire distance. That would mean we actually have to calculate a diagonal. But this problem is even more simple than that. What we're actually doing is just calculating the difference in X values between two adjacent points. That's not how this problem is worded. It's worded with like the idea of like vertical rectangles. But given that for these rectangles, we only need to calculate the max width. It becomes clear that all we really care about among these points is not the Y values. Those don't matter at all. All we care about is the X values. Okay, so that's one. But what we can't do is take the X difference between this point and this point that would give us a result of two because the x difference between seven and nine is of course two but the reason we can't do that is because in between these two points there's another point so we're not allowed to do that for a line that has other points like in the middle of it. So in other words, what we can only do is get the X difference between these two adjacent points and then these two adjacent points, or you could also do uh, these two adjacent points. And then from here, you could technically get the difference between these two, but that would be zero anyway. And then we don't really have any more points to the right. So what we realize is that since we only care about looking at these points in order of like the X values, then the only thing we have to do is take the array of points and sort it based on the X value and then just iterate over the list of points. So suppose like these are our points and then for each pair, each adjacent pair of points, we just calculate the X difference. And among all of those X differences that we uh, calculate, we want to end up returning the maximum of all of those. What's the time complexity of this? Well, we're gonna sort and then linearly scan. So the bottleneck is of course sorting because that is an N log N operation. A linear scan is just big O of N. So this will dominate the time complexity. In terms of space, Depending on which sorting algorithm is used under the hood, because you're probably not going to implement that yourself, it might take additional memory. So it could be like O of N, it could be a constant, or it could, I think, even be log N. Now let's go ahead and code this up. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the points array and just sort it. So by default, we know each point is actually a pair of X, Y values in Python. By default, it will sort them based on the first value of that pair. If there's a tie, it will sort them based on the Y value. It doesn't really matter in our case if there's a tie, but that's just how it, the sorting works under the hood. Now, after that's done, we want to compare every adjacent pair. So I'm going to have an index for I in range length of points, and I'm going to say minus one because Every time we look at a point at index i, we want to make sure that there is a point after it that we can compare it to. So that's why we're only iterating the number of points minus one. That's how many times we iterate. And then among the points, so the point at index i and the point at index i plus one, we want to get the x value. That's going to be at index zero. It's not going to be at index one. It's at index zero because the x value comes first. We're going to take that and subtract from it the current point at index i. And the reason we're doing it this way, like i plus one is here and then i is here, that will ensure that this value will always be positive or it will be zero. Remember, we're trying to maximize the distance, so this will calculate the width of the rectangle. And we want to maximize this, like I said. So we're gonna first declare a result, which is initially gonna be zero. That's gonna be the max width. That's what we're gonna try to return. And here, to calculate it, we're going to set result 
equal to the max of itself and this current width that we have calculated. And then by the end of this loop, result will be maximized. We're gonna return it. Let's make sure that this works. And as you can see on the left, yes, it does, and it's pretty efficient. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. If you're preparing for coding interviews, check out neatcode.io. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.